friends, at Goodrich Aviation, we're all about installing comfort and safety in your airplane. And one of those things that we do here is install the Thermacool electric air conditioning system. And we're gonna put one of those in this Baron 58. Now, if you're not familiar with Thermacool, it's a great system, especially for a retrofit installation. Um, it's more compact, lighter, uh, the compressor is electric, and uh, you can learn more about the system at our website, goodrichaviation.com. It's available for a lot of airplanes now, including the SR-22 and uh, 20, um, also some of the bigger Moonies, 28-volt uh, high-wing Cessnas, um, and also the Baron 55, 58, and the 36 model Bonanza. There's a complete list on our website. There's also a contact list there for some different uh, models that are in development where you can leave your email and we'll send you uh, contact when uh, that particular STC is available for your airplane. So I thought we'd shoot a little video of this installation. Um, again, this is a Baron 58. Um, the system goes in the tail of the airplane here and it's been described as building a ship in a bottle. Stick around and uh, we'll show you why. So it's not every day you get to put a saw to the side of somebody's airplane, but that's part of the process here as we cut out these holes for the uh, condenser vents. So since it's stress skin, we've got to install these doublers and uh, that'll have a nice fancy cover that'll go over that. And on the inside, we're beginning to uh, lay out the, uh, the rack that the condenser and the compressor and all of that will start to uh, sit on. Um, so hence the uh, building the ship in the bottle. But uh, so far it's been mostly on the outside. We're heading inside pretty soon. Here are the final air conditioning covers. When we finished the project, we left these outside covers unpainted because this plane, when it left our shop, went straight to a paint shop to get not only these covers, but the rest of the airplane touched up. The owner was kind enough to send us these uh, pictures so you can see what the finished product looks like. So I talk to a lot of people about air conditioning in their airplanes, and one of the things I hear a lot is, eh, I don't really need air conditioning because I just take off and climb to 8,000 feet or so and it's cooler up there and yeah, I get that. But every pilot knows where you really need air conditioning is on the ground. Planes are just hot. They've been sitting in the sun and such and when you're sitting on the ramp waiting for that clearance or taxiing out to the, uh, to the runway, that's when airplanes are really, really hot. And to run an electric air conditioning system like this Thermacool system, um, it's an energy hog. I mean, it starts at about 52 amps when you, when you turn it on and it settles in the mid 40s or so. So it takes a lot of power to run this thing. Um, so what really makes this work on these planes is this right here. This is a, um, this is a plane power um, 28 volt, 150 amp alternator. And the beauty of this thing is it puts out 100 amps at 1000 RPM. So when you start up, you could turn this thing on and start using it on the ground while you're getting your clearance, while you're taxiing out, all of that. 
your air conditioning system is able to run at full power and you can feel that cool air coming right down over those overhead vents. So this right here is uh, what we're gonna be putting on this uh, Baron, we'll be putting two of these on, um, but it really is the thing that makes this system really sweet because you get full cooling even when you're on the ground. And uh, one thing to keep in mind, I mean, there's no flight environment that you can't run the thermocool system. So on the ground, on climb out, all of that, you can have your AC blasting. So the electric air conditioning system has some really neat advantages over engine driven systems. One of them is the fact that you can run your thermocool electric air conditioning on the ground when you don't even have your engines running. All you need to do is plug it into ground power. And there's another neat little feature that the thermocool system has and it's this little switch right here. So let's say your airplane's out on a hot ramp and uh, you'd really like to get the thing cooled down before you even arrive at the airport. You can call ahead to the line service, ask them to plug your airplane in and push that little switch there and it'll turn on your electric air conditioning system while your airplane's all locked and secured. And it'll start to pre-cool your airplane before you even arrive at the airport. So it's one of the neat features of the electric air conditioning system. So we're wrapping up this uh, thermocool installation, this Baron 58, and uh, today I finished the pile of paperwork and got all the other documents and everything together uh, that you have to do when you complete one of these uh, larger projects. Um, we've also finished the interior, which came out really nice. Um, it, was a, it was a fun project from top to bottom with the thermocool, with the interior. It's just nice to see a, a project kind of come together and get wrapped up and look as good and work as well as this one is, uh, is working. Um, I wanted to address a couple of the things that I often get asked about the thermocool system. One of them is how much does it weigh? Um, in this particular installation, it weighs about 64 pounds and it moved the CG aft about two inches or so. Um, and that's pretty typical weight uh, with most of these because we're talking the same components with the compressor and the condenser and uh, evaporator and, and such. They're just installed in the different airplanes, whether it's a Cirrus or a Cessna. Um, in different places. And some of the, the different uh, installations require um, like in a different headliner because that's where the ducting is, uh, is installed, um, like the Cirrus and like the 182. Um, in this airplane, it was pretty neat. We were able to, um, to tap right into the existing duct work that goes right up through the center and it has these nice uh, vents, controllable vents over each one of the six seats. And uh, I'll tell you, the, um, the evaporator and the fan um, is really powerful. It's got a dual squirrel cage fan and you crank that thing up and you are, you're gonna mess up your hair. Um, it's re really moved some air. So that's one of the great things. In fact, um, I've talked with customers that we've sold these things to in the past and they've said that a lot of times they'll turn off the AC part and just enjoy the, uh, the fan that uh, the thermocool system has once they get up to, uh, to altitude. But, uh, um, 
Another thing is, you know, they ask me how, uh, how much does it really cool? And uh, the literature says between 20 and 30 uh, degrees, and that's typically what we find. Um, right now, we're in November here in upstate New York, and it's cold here in the hangar. Um, so we're really not able to get a good, um, accurate read on this particular system. Um, we're seeing about uh, 20 degrees, um, but we're also starting in the 50s and bringing it down to just about freezing. And uh, so th the system has a um, um, uh, fail uh, system on it so that it can't freeze and um, <clears throat> and we we're activating that system as it gets down uh, into the uh, the mid to low 30s and you can hear it idling the uh, the compressor in the back uh, which is what it's designed to uh, to do so that it won't freeze the uh, the actual AC system so we're not able to at these temperatures know exactly how this thing's working but uh, from everything we can tell here it's working really really well and as I said it really moves air nicely um, how do you get one of these systems? Well, you can call me. I'm Doug Goodrich with Goodrich Aviation. You can go to my website, goodrichaviation.com, and uh, click on Thermacool there, and uh, you'll see the different uh, models of aircraft that Thermacool is available for, and um, there's contact information there. Feel free to give me a call. Uh, you can send me an email, um, and uh, we can talk about putting this nice cold air in your airplane. Um, the installation time, two, three weeks, depends. Um, this one here took a little bit longer because of the, uh, the interior job. Um, so it was here just about a month with all of this. Um, we had a week that we didn't work on it at all during that period of time uh, because we had other projects that we had to deal with. So it, it, it depends. Um, high wing Cessnas, um, Cirrus, about two weeks or so. So it varies with the different models, but um, I figure it's going to be somewhere between two to three weeks to install the uh, the system. As far as costs go, um, check my website. Prices change, YouTube videos last forever, so it doesn't make any sense to quote any costs here. Go to my website, I list the cost of all the different systems uh, there, and uh, certainly if you have questions, again, uh, give me a call. Um, so I think we're going to wrap this video up. I appreciate you watching, especially all the way to the end. Um, I hope you've got a decent understanding of the system and how it goes into this thing. Remember, we described it as building a uh, ship in a bottle. And that's really true with all we put in the back of this airplane. Um, it is pretty, pretty amazing. Um, but uh, again, thanks for watching. And uh, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It certainly helps me out. And uh, hit the bell and uh, you'll get a notification when we produce more uh, videos of the different things we do here at Goodrich Aviation. Thanks again for watching. God bless.